Xenon. Yes, Ruthenium? How come the Nickel Twins don't look like twins? Well, not all twins look exactly alike. Well, they look a lot alike. But one is fat and one is skinny. That just means they're different isotopes. They're exactly alike otherwise. Oh, Xenon, there you go with your big words again. Well, I just happen to be reading about this topic. Let me show you. This chapter is all about the mass of oxygen. A typical oxygen atom has an inner nucleus of eight neutrons bonded to eight protons. N, orbiting the nucleus, a small shell of two electrons, and beyond that, a second shell of six more orbiting electrons. So, we have a total of eight protons, eight neutrons, and eight electrons in one oxygen atom. Yeah, whatever, Xenon. I didn't ask about oxygen. I was asking about the nickel twins. We'll get there, Ruth. Now, electrons, of course, have almost no mass, but each proton and each neutron contribute about one atomic mass unit each, giving the oxygen atom a total mass of 16 AMUs. Again. That does not look like nickel. Patience, Ruth. At any rate, oxygen's atomic number is eight, and we get that atomic number from the number of protons. Atomic mass is always written as a whole number followed by a decimal number, but atomic number is always written as one whole number, no decimals. You do realize that's the world's most boringest book Ever. I think I need a nap now. Ruth, the next chapter gets more interesting. There's that big word again. Correct. Anyhow, oxygen typically doesn't form isotopes, but many atoms do. An isotope just means that particular atoms from the same element have the same atomic number, which means the same number of protons, but they have differing numbers of neutrons. Since neutrons are important when determining atomic mass, the mass of isotopes can vary. Ooh, it's one of the nickel twins. They're famous. So, nickel's atomic number is 58.69? No, Ruth. Recall that atomic mass is written as decimals on the periodic table. The average mass of nickel is 58.69 AMUs. Atomic numbers are always written as whole numbers. Oh, I get it. Nickel's atomic number is 28, and that means 28 protons in each nickel atom. Right? Goodness, Ruth, maybe you are paying attention. If we round the mass off to 59, we can do some math. Some mass math? Yes, we'll subtract 28 from 59. 59 minus 28 equals... 31. <laughs> I know my two-digit math. Very good, Ruth. So, on average, nickel atoms each have 31 neutrons. But... Unlike most oxygen atoms, nickel can form isotopes. Nickel 58, for example, has 58 minus 28, or 30 neutrons. Nickel 64 has 36 neutrons, and so on. And that would be the fat nickel twin. We'd have to put him on a scale to know for sure, or just count his neutrons. Hey, nickel twins. Xenon told me all your secrets.